Hi everyone, hope you're doing well from whatever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, the discussion in this country is all about Finance Bill 2024. And today we have a committee of the whole house for the third reading of the Finance Bill. This is the third stage and very important where voting will also be taking place. It is the time we, uh, the members of parliament can reject the Finance Bill in totality. You know, uh, or uh, try to do some changes on the finance bill. Some proposals, they are there. So it is a day that is going to mark a difference in our life, whether we will be taxed more or not. First reading happened, second came, it passed. But it seems like these members of parliament are determined to support the oppressor of the oppressed. With this move, we know very well that mass action is here today. It's a holiday. That's why even uh, schools, you know, closed very earlier. And people are already on the streets protesting. Gen Siwa Village has a message for the president and the people as the protest kick off today. Sisi kama Gen Siwa Village, tukoredi kwa maandamano yu Tuesday. Na tukoredi na macharkan. Ya kuwa supply ya maji ya kuna uso tukitupiwa tia gas. We say no to finance bill. No to finance bill and fuck you Ruto. Fuck you. Now, Eldoret Town and Wasingishu County is redefining the politics of this country. They are in the forefront leading this protest too. Yesterday at night, as people went to sleep, they were busy in the, in the town rehearsing on a protest ahead of today's protest. So protest started yesterday at night. It is now going on. The Eldoret youth have a message for members of parliament coming from that uh, Wasigishu county, for their governor, for the leadership, top leadership of this country, UDA party, William Ruto and the rest, that we have done away with the dictatorship. You cannot dictate our parents. Again, you think of dictating us. Enough is enough. That is their position. Gen Z's in Eldoret, we are very stupid. Governor Mesema, we are very stupid, of which we don't care. We are very stupid. We know that from the word go. We are from Eldoret and we are Eldorians and Eldoret is our business. Tuesday, tutanunua maji hapo yako mbaka iishe. Watu waende maandamano. Like, you cannot control us like ships. Here, we are done with dictatorship. Seragali, niko milen seragali itawabara amoy. Sawa? Tupatane Eldoret Zion Mall. We will burn down this country kwa lalko ye gijeta. Ati ya gita o gete ya zege. Ati wezi chukulewa. Ati amwezi dictate wa zazi wetu mkuje mtu dictate ya na. God damn it. Mami. Mami. Endelea kuhibia pesa. Mume hibia school fees jana tumenyamaza. Saizi muntaa kuchongelesha panya munataka. Ni mkontroli kanti. Wanataa kuhibia mashamba. We are from Eldoret and Eldoret is our business. Ati wezi. Watax mpaka shamba enye babu yangu aminipea. Munajiu jamami amepigiana mpaka na dead and kibadhi. Ewe, musitilete upala Muli tusomesha And wanasema education is a very powerful equalizer You fucked up when you took us to school Gotome tete kerip tuka kumasa ye Exactly We are Eldorians and Eldoret is our business God damn it We are coming for you We are coming for you guys Come to government of what's English Chelilim to mempea sympathy Chelilil, we've removed you from the scratch Alikuwa amekosa. Hey, wewe, acha nikuambie. 
and akula tena buzegi tayo le tayo eri tu be buzegi kanya gigoti buzegi mage mese kia nai anangea amusha we kama kwanza you are over 40 years tunakutoa we are now voting for you coming 2027 exactly Kiblumbeti ni kwa kilumbeti ni kwa kwa hiko risk kwa taxi olin We will talk the way we want to talk because this country is ours And you guys have fucked us up Yeah damn it What's wrong with you? Kima tuwa mutei shukul sawa Na mi nita kuja hii eldore tu sumbuane by next week Now as we continue with the final discussion just a quick request for those who are watching And you are not a subscriber please consider subscribing To our return subscriber as a master thank you so much And again to all our viewers please Give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much. And back to this discussion. So definitely, as police officers prepare to be on the streets, we know what um, Kitsune Kendiki promised, but what they will deliver. The Gen Zs are well aware of all this. The, the, you know, the good thing is that they are working ahead of the government. Before you think of something, they had already thought about it and planned about it. So, neutralizing them is not that easy as someone or anyone might think. Not that much easy. They are so much determined and they are so much focused. They want to liberate themselves from this huge problem. So, enter it has really amazed so many people and was in Gisho County at large. Apart from Nairobi, Eldoret comes number two. In fact, let me say, Rift Valley comes number two when it comes to protest. And uh, was in Gisho County, home county to William Samuel Ruto, is leading. We get to Nairobi, how on number one? What we get one of us. So that is the spirit and that is the new uh, uh, definition of our politics. We are being, you know, changed completely from the previous thinking that we had when it comes to protest. For example, we will expect that Eldoret will be on the street saying not to protest. That did not happen. The youth are on the street and they are speaking the truth to power. They are so much angry with this government to an extent, they even use abusive language because of frustration they have gone through. And all the youth I've shared in this video are from Rift Valley. They are from Eldoret Town. They are from a region where Ruto is coming from, home county of William Samuel Ruto. They speak the same language. But you see, their position is very clear. Therefore, there is nothing that is going to stop this protest today. The youth are well aware of what the members of parliament are going to do. Of course, they have received the, you know, the test of the ground after the first vote. There's nothing like that. So there has been nowhere for them to hide. But because William Ruto is so much determined. He is pushing to pass this bill the way it is or to do some amendments on that bill. I've seen the ODM um, fraternity and the Azimel Omaja have come out clear with their position. In fact, they had thought of proposing some amendment to that bill rather than passing it the way it is. They have finally come out to drop all the amendments they had prepared to propose on that bill. Therefore, rejecting the finance bill in its entire, uh, in its totality. When I cut it, it completely. So they don't support it. They are against it. That means that they are now finally speaking the language of Gen Zs. They are agreeing with the position of the youth that this bill should be rejected in totality. So they have made their position very clear. So going forward, if you look on the two coalitions we have, the Kenya Kwanga coalition and Azimela Omoja one Kenya coalition party, Azimela Omoja have made a well-informed decision to stand with the position of the 
youth in this country reject finance bill. So to that they have agreed and they have finally rejected it completely. That is what we anticipate from them on the floor of the house. Then the other side have been listening to what they have been discussing. Akina Malala and the team, I will be bringing that information here. They are literally supporting finance bill fully in manner in which it is as of now. They don't care about the noise. They don't care about our problems. They don't care about our input to the finance bill. For them, they are so much determined. I've seen the SG of UDA party threatening members of parliament in the party. The other day he was talking about I will organize a meeting between Gen Z and the president. Now, they jumped and organized a protest against a protest in Nairobi yesterday. Today, they are the members of parliament to vote in, the, on the, uh, in, uh, in support of the finance bill. Actually, they don't have a stand. And youth have refused to listen to them. They don't want a meeting with them. Because they know the kind of people they want to deal with. So, a protest is going on, a vote in the third uh, uh, stage of the finance bill is going to go on. So, in order to hand in hand, kwa bunge waki discuss, kwa street sisi now to discuss. Tunasema no kwa street, nasikiza kwa bunge wanasema nini. That's what is going, uh, what is going to take place in this country. And uh, really, the youth are serious. Those members of parliament who are going to vote in support of this finance bill are going to be rejected as things have been on the ground. Hawata kubalika. Na tunambio wabunga wamekula mulungula mkubwa. Kwa vile wamekula hii mulungula, lazima watapitisha finance bill. So we are going to wait and see. 204 members of parliament voted in support of finance bill. 115 rejected. We want to see. Will more move from supporting to the rejecting side? To the other speech of Salam Dabad, a vote, uh, uh, voting against finance bill is a vote of no confidence in William Ruto. We are talking about our economy, not politics. But they bring in politics. So it is a message he said to members of parliament in UDA party, don't send William Ruto home. I mean, who cares if Ruto go home? What we care is a leader who will care about our own personal interest as people of this country. A leader who has a listening ear, not a dictator. You do well. So as members of parliament will be Discussing about finance bill, youth are on the street. They have an agenda to protest. Pack our figure for parliament. But we know police officers are also prepared to kill the youth. They want to tear gas the youth. And we are saying, no, a poor should come out. They should monitor these police officers. What police should be doing today is to provide security to both protesters and properties. Wanainchi wa yeshmiwe siku hii ya maandamano.